Hello guys, welcome to Tech with Viresh. So in the continuation to our series on Spark Deep Dive, today we'll look in that uh, an operation, Groupi, we should always avoid in the Apache Spark world. There's the biggest performance hit if you use an operation like Groupi. Uh, there's always an, a problem with any sort of operations you perform with with the key by operations where the repartitioning and the partitioning happens under the hood. But uh, even among those operations, we should always try to avoid the group by functionality. So today we'll look in how group by works and how we can avoid group by. And guys, before I, before I proceed, I'll request to all my viewers to please subscribe to the channel, to share, like, and comment. That'll encourage me to make more such videos. So guys, let's start. So uh, let's try to understand it uh, with an example, right? Uh, we have two uh, similar operations or transformations. We can say group by and reduce by. And we're trying to do a comparative analysis like how group by works and how reduce, reduce by works, reduce by key works. And uh, based on that, uh, it has been concluded and it has been uh, uh, found out that group by is always the biggest performance hit and it should be avoided at any cost. So let's try to understand it with an example. If you look at this code snippet, uh, I've created a small RDD or a simple array. Then I've converted into an RDD, uh, SC, Spark context dot parallelize. And then I've created a paired RDD where the key is the word and then a tuple of word with one. Uh, it's a simple program to do the word count. And then on this pair RDD, first I have applied the reduce by key. And then I call uh, action collect. Then I try to print the value for this uh, reduce by operation. And it gives us the array, if you see, just with this array, where it has it is giving me a tuple in the form of word and what is the count of that word. Right, so for three, it is given the three counts. So we had three words, and then for two, we have two words, and for one, we had one word. So that is the output we have got using the reduce by operation. So it has performed that word count stuff, right? So let's see how reduce by works first. Uh, and before we look into it, let's see the same word count operation uh, if we try to achieve through the group by statement. So similarly, the same paired RDD is created here. It's up till here, it's same. Then I use the group by key operation and then calling a map function on top of it, which will give me uh, the key as the first value of the tuple, which is the word, and then the sum of all the ones assigned to that uh, key value pair, the summation of the value of that key value pair. And then I've printed that. Similar uh, result is achieved through goodbye as well. But there's a difference how the two operations behave and where we get the performance benefits. So let's see. If we see how reduce by key is worked is, if you see, these are the different partitions where I have my key value pairs are uh, persistent or uh, right now grouped. These are the three partitions, right? You see it here. And how it has worked is, that on the same machine, on the same node, where for a particular partition, the lambda function that we applied that to do the summation of the counts is performed at the partition level. See, the reduce has happened on the partition level itself. Here, I had only one set of two different keys. So I got one, 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 one for each one. But here I had uh, two tuples for single key, two for A, two for B, so that uh, reduce has happened at the partition level itself. Similarly, in the in the third one as well, the reduce has happened at the partition level itself. And post that, it's try to shuffle the similar keys, the common keys, onto the common partition. So this this way shuffle shuffle has happened, but the shuffle has minimized because the reduce had already happened at the uh, partition level, individual partition level itself. So it has reduced a lot of amount of data which could be shuffled. So here, the shuffling which is happening, though that shuffling is unavoidable, but that has been minimalized. So if you see now all the keys, 
like the same key has come to the same partition so a has come on this partition and b has come on to this partition and now the further reduce <coughs> the lambda function of reduce is again applied to do the summation of all the values and eventually i get a key value pair for that particular word and the count of that particular word but the reduce uh, the reduce by key operation is optimized from the fact that it has minimalized the shuffling to the lowest now let's see how group by works if you see group by in the group by there is no sort of uh, you know this summation or lambda function is not applied at the individual partition level so all the key value pairs are shuffled around if you see here all the key value pairs are shuffled around like key a is shuffled from all these different partitions to one this single node so if you see here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 tuples 6 object packets have moved over the network as far as the shuffle same goes for b whether in the previous slide we have seen that for uh, in in the reduced by that number of tuples that are shuffled was comparatively less because that lambda function is already applied at the uh, at the before the partitioning or before the shuffle has happened before the repartitioning has happened right and to determine that which key needs to go to which new partition now it has to call the partitioning function which definitely is expensive apart from that there is another bigger problem with uh, the group by functionality is if in case now uh, the executor memory is filled and that data set needs to go it needs to be spilled on to the disk then how group by function flushes out that data to the disk in case of spill is one key at a time so one tuple at the time that is the biggest problem uh, this is a usual case right that uh, you do not have any memory you are trying to work on a bigger data set that can't fit into the executor memory and then you have to spill it on the disk which is fine but the problem with group by is it is moving flushing that data one tuple or one key at a time that is the biggest problem uh, which makes the whole thing extremely slow apart from that if a single key has a huge number of key value pairs a single key has huge number of data in form of tuples that cannot fit into the memory in, in case of group by it will give you the outer memory exceptions because the way is trying to move or shuffle that data across is trying to collocate that key with huge number of key value pairs on a single partition that and that too for individual records for individual tuples <laughs> so because the reduce has not happened at the at the before the repartitioning so that is the problem why group by is comparatively very slow uh, compared to the reduce by key or any other key based operations so that's why it is recommended that we should avoid using group by and uh, there are supplementary and complementary apis available in the form of reduce by key and others which should be used so guys the rule of thumb here whenever we are working with the spark computes especially writing different form of transformations and group by the functionality of group by sort by reduce by is so very common that we have to use it uh, every now and then but the only thing we'll have to make sure is rather than using group by key we try to use the reduce by key or any other supplementary provided apis So guys that's it in this particular video have a good day at bye bye